Go with him. Next month's conference may be the West Samoria Trade Conference in name, but it's far more than that. It's the region's first international conference in modern times. So the discussions won't be limited to economic matters. But regional security and other timely issues are sure to come up. I see. So that's why all the region's heads of state will be in attendance? Precisely. President Rocksmith will represent the Republic of Calvert, of course. Prince Albert will be representing the Principality of Remaferia as its head of state. Crown Princess Claudia will be coming to represent Liberal in place of the Queen. And representing Crossbell State, we have Mayor Croyce and Speaker McDowell. All of them are either heads of state or their acting representatives. Meanwhile, Erebonia is sending Chancellor Osborne as a representative of the Imperial Government. But Father is the head of state, isn't he? Indeed. And that's why I'm planning to go as well. Even though I'm far from the ideal candidate. But the Imperial family needs to be represented to make sure all sides are on equal terms. You shouldn't be so harsh on yourself. But I think I understand the situation. I feel so ashamed. I shouldn't have to rely on you to educate me about simple politics like this. Hmm? Recently, I feel as though all my inadequacies have been staring me in the face. I wish every day I had the intelligence and quick-wittedness you possess. And I wonder, am I truly capable of inheriting the throne from father? <laughs> You know, Her Highness Princess Claudia of Liberal once said exactly the same thing. She did? As the successor to the throne of Liberal, I've heard that she agonized over whether she was fit to become queen. But eventually, she came to terms with her own inexperience and vowed that she would strive each day to overcome it. And I have no reason to believe that my talented brother cannot do the same. Oliver, thank you. Your support means a lot to me. That said, I do think you should spend more of your time living life the way you want to. I don't think anyone would blame you for wanting to indulge your interests once in a while. <laughs> I am how I am, I'm afraid. To be honest, I'm a little jealous of how being so open and carefree comes so naturally to you. <laughs> well, I think it'd be less concerning for all involved if you avoided taking after me too much. Another thing. I sometimes find myself admiring Chancellor Osborne's strong-willed nature as well. Oh? He was quite forceful in introducing the Imperial Transportation Act last year, despite the opposition's objections. But ever since then, I've heard the number of orbital car accidents has fallen dramatically. I can see why Father trusts him so much. Well, I wouldn't disagree that was a fine piece of policymaking. The campaign he launched with the help of City Hall was exceptionally well executed. But, on the other hand... Honestly, don't you think it's a little early in the day to be having a stuffy political discussion? Alfin? Oh, have your lessons already finished for the day? Indeed. They gave us the afternoon off to prepare for the summer festival. But come on, Cedric. You need to stop taking everything so seriously. We're 15. It's far too early for us to be worrying about politics. Actually, I'm not sure 15 is too early, to be honest. What you should be concerned about is being more of a man at official parties. Blushing head to toe just from a lady asking you to dance? Shameful. Totally shameful. Oh, come on. Why do you have to bring that up again? <laughs> you know, that did wonders for his popularity. The ladies at that party were swooning left and right. He was playing their maternal instincts like a harp. Well, I can't deny that. Even some of the men there were fawning over him, saying Cedric was more of a youthful flower than me. Surely you're kidding, right? <laughs> that reminds me, Alfin. Have you decided on your dance partner for the upcoming garden party? Yeah. You've always avoided dancing at official functions. <laughs> Curious, are we? Well, I do have someone in mind this time. Although whether I can get him to say yes... R really My my! It sounds like you aren't just blowing smoke. The Imperial Chronicle is going to have a field day when they find out. Y you're really going to dance with someone? C could it be a son from one of the four great houses? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to discover. He is a noble though. I'll give you that much. Oh, that reminds me. Prince Oliver, I have a proposal I'd like to discuss with you. 